In this problem, we have a class, so let's just read the problem. So it says we have a classroom that normally contains 40 people, and we want to air condition the classroom with window air conditioning units that have a 5 kilowatt cooling capacity. And it says a person at rest may be assumed to dissipate heat at a rate of 360 kilojoules per hour. There are also 10 light bulbs in the room, with each with a rating of a 100 watt. And it says the rate of heat transfer to the classroom through the walls and windows is estimated to be 15 kilojoules per hour. If the room air is to be maintained at a constant temperature of 21 degrees Celsius, determine the number of window air conditioning units required. So this problem, with problems like this, I usually like to start out by drawing a picture of what's going on, just so it's a little more clear. So we have a room, and it has 40 people in it. So 40 people, and it says we have 10 light bulbs. And then it says that we have 15 kilojoules per hour of, of heat being transferred into the room. So Q dot, I'm just going to call this Q dot, um, wall is equal to 15,000 kilojoules per hour. So what we're going to need to do with this problem is an energy balance. And since we're maintaining, so it says we're maintaining a constant temperature, which means that the energy in needs to equal the energy out. And so what we need to do is calculate the total energy added to the room. So total energy added to room. Oops. And so we can just go through this problem statement and figure out what energy is added to the room. First of all, we already know that Q wall, so it gave us Q wall is equal to 15,000 kilojoules per hour. And I'm going to convert, since this is giving me the, um, the air conditioning, <clears throat> so the cooling capacity of the air conditioner is 5 kilowatts, I'm going to convert all of my units into um, kilowatts. So the, so basically I need to convert this hour to seconds. So I have um, 15,000 kilojoules per hour and there's one, there's 3,600 seconds in one hour. So this is equal to 4.17 kilojoules per second, which is 4.17 kilowatt. And this should be a lowercase k. Alright, so that's one of the energy sources. Um, another one is we have people and lights. So let's figure out how much energy is added to the room from the people. So I'm just going to call this Q people is equal to, and so it says with the people that each person is assumed to dissipate a heat rate of 360 kilojoules per hour. So I'm going to say 360 kilojoules per hour. And I'm going to convert that hour to seconds. So one hour over 3600 seconds. And then I have 40, it says I have 40 people. So I'm going to multiply this by 40. <coughs> So this works out to um, 4 kilojoules per second, which is 4 kilowatt. And the, the last source of energy to the room are the light bulbs. So I'm going to call this Q lights. And this is equal to, it tells us that the lights are 100 watts, so that's 1 hundred joules per second and it says that there's 10 of them so I'm going to multiply this by 10 and so that works out to one 
um, kilojoule per second, which is equal to one kilowatt. So now what I can do is add up all of the heat that's added to the room, because that's the heat that the air conditioner needs to remove. So heat the air conditioner needs to remove is equal to Q wall plus Q people plus Q lights. And so this works out to 9.17 kilowatts. And so we know that the capacity of the air conditioner, of each air conditioner, is 5 kilowatts. And it's asking us how many air conditioners we need. So we just take the amount of heat that we need to remove, which is 9.17 kilowatts, and divide it by the capacity of the air conditioner, which is 5 kilowatts. So this works out to 1.83. So that means that we need two units. So we need two AC units.